<laughs> That's cool. Championship rings as well. Mm -hmm. Five rings. So can you just talk about how that costume came about and like when did you start doing it at games and how other people perceive you of his pictures or anything like that? Uh, well, the costume started actually because I had this license plate on my car uh, and I've had it for about 10 or 11 years. And um, I've always had personalized plates on all my cars and I always try to make them either like Star Wars Star Wars related or Lakers or something. So I just came up with that idea to combine the love of my love of both Star Wars and the Lakers. Uh, and so it started out on my license plate and some friends of mine kept telling me you should create some kind of character or a costume. Um, and I, I go to Comic-Con, you know, every year in San Diego and I see people dressed up in all these cool outfits and, I always thought, nah, I'm not going to go that far, you know. Uh, but then people kept telling me, you should do it, you should do it. So I started to brainstorm, um, like, what would I even do, you know, with, with this license plate? How could I come up with something? And over time, I just kind of started throwing different ideas together. Um, it just so happens that um, they released the, uh, the Mace Windu Star Wars lightsaber, which happens to be purple. So I thought, okay, that's perfect. Um, and then I happened to find that R2-D2 at Comic-Con uh, a few years ago that happened to be purple and gold. So I, things just started to fall into place. And then I, I always knew that it would have to be something like Jedi-related, but but kind of sporty. So um, <clears throat> I had the, the jersey, of course, and then I found this material um, at a... A craft store and my father he's uh he can actually come up with some pretty cool stuff um on the sewing machine so we basically he and i put our heads together and came up with this kind of a, a jedi rogue kind of idea uh but more sporty and um then i got the shoes and everything else to match and then i, I always I already had the uh the championship rings um so i just put them onto this necklace and then I, I found somebody online who makes custom masks. Uh, and so the mask that I got, actually, somebody from Russia made it. And I had them painted specifically purple and gold. Uh, and so just over time, the pieces just started falling together. And this is definitely not what I had imagined in the very beginning, but I think it turned out better than I could have imagined. Um, so, yeah, it's just something that evolved over time. And then... Finally, I ended up wearing it to Comic-Con. This was about three years ago. And it was before I had the, the robe and a couple different things. So it was very basic. But people really took to it and they liked it. Um, and I, people were taking photos. And I, got, I ended up being on like TMZ and a bunch of other websites too uh, for Comic-Con. And so I thought, okay, this could really work. Um, and I just started adding more pieces and to where I'm at now. And when I go to Comic-Con, you know, people don't even have to be Star Wars fans or Lakers fans to appreciate it. Like, I get people, I'm not joking, that I've had several people come up to me at Comic-Con and tell me that it's the best costume they've seen at Comic-Con. Like, point blank. So, you know, it's, it's fun. I always get fun responses from people. Um, tons of people want to take photos, you know. So, um, I just... When I go to Comic-Con, I just walk around and, and uh, have fun, and you know, I'm there for three days, and so it's just nonstop. Um, now, as far as games, like basketball games, I haven't worn it to a basketball game yet. Um, I've taken my license plate in, and I've gotten up on the Jumbotron like six or seven times over the years, um, but 
ironically, I met Jeannie Buss at Comic Con this last uh, 2019. Uh, she was there signing for one of her a wrestling show that she had uh, co-created, and so she totally loved my costume. She was like, she told me to tag her on Instagram, which I did. Um, and then I happened to find uh, see her again at the Los Angeles Comic Con, also in 2019, and she remembered me. And um, she she was signing some kind of posters, and they ran out of posters. And so I messaged her on Instagram and I sent her the picture that we took and I asked her if there was any way I could get one of those posters and, you know, I would pay for the shipping and all that. And she said, no, unfortunately they ran out of those posters, but she said, how about I give you tickets to the game and I'll come down where you're sitting at the game and we'll take another picture together. So I was like, uh, yeah, of course, you know, so now I've, now I've yet to hear back from her, but you know, things have been kind of crazy this year, so I can kind of understand that with COVID and everything. Um, but in one of the tra- uh, one of the times that I did see her, um, I asked her, do you think they would allow me into Staples Center with this costume? And she said, probably not with the mask and probably not with my wand. That's what she called the lightsaber as a wand. Mm-hmm.